Good morning everyone and welcome to a wonderful Friday morning. Uh, it's our thought for the day today. I'm afraid you've just got me. Gemma's busy studying at the moment. Uh, but our reading comes from Genesis chapter 9 and it's verses 8 to 17. And it, sounds, it says this. <clears throat> then God said to Noah and his sons with him, Now I establish my covenant with you and your descendants after you and with every living creature that was with you, the birds, the livestock, and all the wild animals, all those who came out of the ark with you, every living creature on earth. I establish my covenant with you. Never again will all life be destroyed by the waters of a flood. Never again will, will there be a flood to destroy the earth. And God said, this is the sign of the covenant I'm making between you, uh, between me and you and every living creature with you. A covenant for all generations to come. I have set my rainbow in the clouds and it will be a sign of the covenant between me and the earth. Whenever I bring clouds over the earth and the rainbow appears in the clouds, I will remember my covenant between me and you and all living creatures of every kind. Never again will the waters of the flood, uh, never again will the waters become a flood to destroy all life. Whenever the rainbow appears in the clouds, I will see it and remember the everlasting covenant between God and all living creatures of every kind on the earth. So God said to Noah, this is the sign of the covenant I've established between me and all life on earth. Uh, and so when I was in the car thinking about what passage to talk about today, the journey I made from Bentley to Binstead and back home again, I encountered all the weather, okay? It wasn't torrential rain uh, and there wasn't any snow, but it did rain, it was windy, I had sunny skies, muddy tracks and at one point it was really nice and warm that I wanted to take my coat and jumper off. And of course this then reminded me about this passage about the rainbows. Uh, and humans seem to love rainbows. It's always quite exciting when you see one or at least it is uh, if you're in our family or perhaps on a really long boring car journey. Uh, but we all point it out to each other don't we? We marvel at the cool but uh, cool simple bit of science and as Christians, it might even remind you about the story of Noah. Uh, but for me at least, I think this is where it tends to end, if I'm all, uh, being completely honest. I see a rainbow, I think it's pretty cool, and occasionally I think, oh yeah, Noah's Ark was a good story. But as we read here, the rainbow is representative of God's covenant with humanity, that he will never flood the world again. This coven covenant isn't just a mild promise but in today's uh, terms and world, it would be a completely uh, watertight, legally binding contract between two parties. God will never again, uh, God will never let the earth flood again and destroy all life. Uh, as a little side note, this is one thing that rainbows do remind me of, if I can get it all in the camera frame. And I've had this as long as I can remember. It says God always keeps his promises. And of course, it's the story of Noah's Ark. And this has been in my bedroom. I've insisted it be in my bedroom, although now it's on the wall uh, up behind where I'm filming. Uh, it's been in my bedroom for as long as I can remember. And this is one of the things that I do remember, that God always keeps his promises. And I remember this. But having said all that, when I was in the car, my thought for the day was that we can kind of forget about God in our everyday lives. We can often go about our day-to-day -day business, as I was doing, forgetting about God until we do a more holy action, uh, whether it be going to church or home group or doing our Bible reading or Lectio 365. Uh, and I wouldn't expect to think about, about God 24-7, but certainly with our youth group, we all said that we wanted to see more of God in the day-to-day. -day. And so this passage has helped and challenged me rather than uh, to be waiting for God to imprint on me in the day-to-day but to actively seek him out and try and find where God is at work in my day to day. There are far more ways in which God is at work than just rainbows. So my prayer is that we would see more of where God is at work. We would see where he is at work in our day to day. Uh, and of course, we'll be reminded that whenever we do see a rainbow, that God always keeps his promises. So there you go, there's a little thought for the day, um, and my ramblings at least, and my thoughts when I was <laughs> driving from Bentley to Binstead. <laughs> Have a lovely day, and uh, hopefully see you soon.
拜拜。